to the third game. Just about to start here. 35 minutes of squash play so far. Yes, Lent. Nick's lob just getting him out of trouble in the middle of that rally. You know, I think he's probably got the best lob in the game at the moment, and you know he can use it to attack as well as to to defend. Fantastic shot of the lob played to its full potential. Yeah, very underrated shot, I think the lob. I wish I was better, better at it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will come, Daryl. You've improved a huge amount in the last 18 months, and I'm sure you'll add all of those extra bits. We're not sure. Play a light, please. Play a light on that, please. Why? Because we are not sure. I was sure. Because view was blocked from the front, okay? We can't I think, see it. I think what Peter's... Play on, please. Just, just saying that Nick's uh, trickle boast may have clipped the top of the tin, which is why he half stopped. Love all. Starting to attack the front forehand corner of the uh, left hander a little bit, and that's a sign of a bit more confidence, Daryl. Indeed, yeah, Nick dominating this rally. Good defence from Pete, hanging in there. Ridiculous strength there for Barker. Really extended on the lunge, and you could hear him one love. struggling to keep his balance as the racket hits the floor. But great bit of strength hitting the nick there. Yeah, that's where Peter's strength in his movement is is vital, and won him that point. Yes, led. One love. Still, Nick, I think he's trying to get in front of Peter every opportunity, and you know, Nick knows that that's where he's at his at his best, at his most dangerous. That up. There's another whip. Too low. Nick, there. So, Pete. Moving into a two-love lead. This is a really good response from him now. Very good response. You know, he's going to just keep asking questions of Nick. And Nick's going to have to come up with the answers. balls at the moment landing around the middle area Peter Barker so no, no. happy to just move across the tee line that one falling quite short there and out one two catching him slightly fat footed yeah just a variation off the back wall there from Nick not always hitting through to the back just varying the you know the pace of the ball
That's a good shot, pushing up on it. So he's responded here. Two all. Again, it just showing his class. You know, another another similar shot this time on the volley. And again, three two. Firing them in now. Just catching Pete, as you say, flat-footed. Um, you know, been playing for 40, 45 minutes now, and um, you know, fatigue can sometimes be playing a small part. You know, these boys are fantastic athletes, and uh, it's only minute, you know, differences in fitness that that c can make a difference. Good play here. Massive amount of work. Nick Matthew getting himself out of trouble temporarily. The lob. Down. Yeah. Forcing the error. <laughs> Pete Barker feeling that he needed to take the Four ball two. closer to the top of the tin to try and win that right, rally. Please. After throwing a lot of attack at Nick Matthew and him absorbing away. Yeah, I think Pete threw the kitchen sink at Nick there and he just carried on picking up ball after ball. And Force Pete into that error. Not up. Oh, he's stepping up the court now and he's going to start to push five on. Two. He's opened up a three point lead, lead here at 5 2. Yeah, Pete not quite moving as well as he was in the first game. Um, but saying that, you know, Nick's, Nick's stepped up well. He's playing some good variation, in, you know, in his shots and moving Pete to all four corners. And up. It's a great shot there, flattening it on the forehand. 3 5. The left hander. giving Nick a bit back of what he gave to Peter earlier in the game. Just flattening that shot on the, on the forehand side. Yeah. Very good counter from Nick. And now 6 3. Absorbing rally. Just a tight counter from Nick. And 6 3 now. Oh, oh. that's a clever play. Very clever play there from Nick Matthew. Seeing that Pete Barker looking seven three sprint back for the possible length drive and then boasting about round wrong footing him clever play seven three so he really is pushing on again seven three in this third game.
stock to park uh, stock to barker and out four seven so pete barker trying to prevent nick matthew from getting out. away too far and that's a five seven lovely gift from the world number one so just two points now barker creeping up at five seven yeah, a couple of quick points there gets Pete back into this game. Nick always looking for the volley on the tee there. Down. There's another, another ten. ten. Six, seven. Nick really not happy with himself. Well, it wasn't there to go short. Reasonably close to the side wall, and uh, just his margin forever, really. Just needed to fade that in and give himself, you know, a few inches above the tin, make Pete work into that corner. Well, Pete Barker really did look down and out at 7 3, but now he's within one point at 6 7. You can see now from Pete's body language, you know, he's, he knows he's back in this game. He's a little bit more adrenaline f firing. Oh, I can't believe he's just got that one up. And that was a huge point, really. Goes to show, Daryl, anyone wanting to learn about it, Seven just keep all. chasing balls. You never know. Yeah, please. <laughs> and that opened up a great situation. Look, you never oh. thought he was going to get that back. Yeah, you know, there's keep working, been keep many chasing. players in the past that have done it exceptionally well, you know. Parky in recent years been well known for his <laughs> hitting the frame and getting the ball <laughs> terrier like <laughs> qualities around the court but you know it all counts every ball you get back on that front wall means another one that your opponent has to play exactly just showed there how many points Joey is out in that corner seven. that Nick's won now in, in this game maybe f four four points he's just can't yeah it's a lovely lovely angle he just comes down on the ball and a medium uh, feel, shortens his swing, so the ball doesn't come back. Plenty of cut. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lad. Why? <laughs> How can I play that? He's done well to uh, play the ball. push Pete Barker to his feet there. Let's play like, please. <laughs> 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 Left. Pete half trying to get out of the way, and, and he fell on his nuts. <laughs> Nick trying to, uh, to Nick just saying that he wa wanted to play it, but well, it'll be a slight intermission here with a, a bit of a court wipe. This will knock a few rhythms. Do you think eight seven? Pete will go for a safe uh, shot down the line or a, a cheeky attack. We'll see. That's a good serve from Nick. I'm sure he was tempted just to yeah. stick a cross court Nick in, but. Crucial time of the of the match. Well, that's better width and length hitting from both players. Oh, oh, oh that's wonderful! And Pete Barker stepped on the gas there and looked very severe on the forehand and side. Now, Great shot. Yeah, I think that little break. You know that both players realise look at the scoreboard and realise what crucial points they are and they both stepped up in that rally and fantastic finish from, from Pete snapping that cross court. Well, I think the crowd oh. should be particularly laughing at the situation there but... Pete hanging in. Oh, oh, oh what a wonderful rally point. there. Massive Huge point. point. <laughs> Biggest point of the match so far. Nick, I think thought he'd won that point. Please, a thousand times, during the rally, know. please don't clap and don't you laugh. You see how please. much that meant Thank to you. Pete. Yeah, it was important. He dug in hard and. <laughs> I think Pete was in focus mode. He didn't really hear that, but they were quite, quite vocal. <laughs> 
line eight. Yes, Led. Could have been. Could easily have been a stroke. You see the ball just coming back <laughs> towards Nick Ooh. from that Nine angle. Eight. Barker really looking to push on. Oh. Oh, it's a fantastic squash, and you can hear the emotion from Nick Matthew there. Both players full to the brim here with testosterone. That was good. And out. Huge nine rally, all. that one. Another great rally. A nine all, one all, nine all, Daryl. And Nothing between them, and they're really starting to growl out there. Yeah, just both tearing around the court in that last rally. Massive points now, massive points. Oh, that's a stroke. Yes, Lent. Oh! Nick's talked him out of him. I thought that was a stroke. <laughs> I thought it was a clear stroke. There was a no let, uh, sorry, it's a let. It's a let bomb. <laughs> That's quite a lot of humorous <laughs> moments in this match. I don't, I don't think they're necessarily Nine intentionally no. humorous. <laughs> Slightly worrying. I thought that was a stroke, Daryl. Anyway, let ball at nine all, so Nick Matthew. Nick just getting away with a few decisions there, but. As you said, it all evens out, Joey. Well, if you want a perfect length and you really would like to have it at this stage of the match, Nick Ten Matthew nine, game ball. hitting the nick in the back corner here. Unbelievable. Oh, and Peter Barker just catching the uh, two games to one. side wall line there, out of court. Unbelievable game of squash, that one. That was a fantastic amazing game. game. Squash. Amazing game, you know. Nick was in control at 7-3 and a few, a few sloppy errors. Nearly an hour of play now. And uh, it's been great quality squash, I think. It's been been fast, been furious at times, and um, a lot of quality. Um, a few, a few more errors than, than both boys are, you know, used to hitting. But at the same time, they've probably both, you know, Peter especially, been attacking a lot more than normal. Well, Daryl, really huge decision where the let ball was given to Nick. Nick I think Nick, as you said, kind of talked them out of it by trying to give the the. the uh, philosophy it might have been a no let but it was definitely very close to his body and Pete wasn't that uh, wrong footed by the miss hit indeed yeah I mean uh, as you say Nick at 7-3 and then a few errors and Pete got, got back into it and then we had a few fantastic rallies from 8-all from 7-all 8-all and Nick just just that little bit of experience at the end and a little bit of you know luck and good quality length and Literally nothing between these, these two guys, but Nick leads 2-1 and 